Hi everyone, I'm so glad you could join me. I'm making an aftershave butter. Now I've made these since I was a fairly young man. Uh, I get irritation after I shave my face and neck especially. And I've used a lot of products from the store. Things with alcohol bases, things with cream bases, all sorts of things. Some work better than others, some work in the short term, and then they quit working. So I decided to put together my own formulation. And over the years I've perfected it, and I want to share that with you today. And this is going to be made from some oil infusions that I've made myself. Uh, this main jar that you see sitting here is full of some of those wondrous ingredients. For the last 60 days, I have been infusing this olive oil, about 16 ounces of olive oil, with stinging nettle, with some comfrey, some calendula, chamomile, pine needle, uh, cedar needle, excuse me, and a little bit of juniper berry, but, which is in another container over on the side. And that's the basis for this balm, butter. And uh, with this, I'll be mixing coconut oil, not very much, cocoa butter, and shea butter. And uh, to that, I'll be adding some vitamin E, some glycerin, uh, and some beeswax. All right, so let's get started. So first thing I have to do is bang this jar because <laughs> it's been sealed for a while and uh, release its wonderful contents. And I have to tell you, this smells fantastic. I myself, I love infused oils. They just are like nothing else. And isn't that a beautiful color green? And I'm just going to empty out everything here into the sieve and press it down just to make sure I get all of those oils out. So now I'm just adding in two tablespoons of the juniper berry oil. And that's all of this that'll go in. Now it's time to add some coconut butter, some shea butter, uh, coconut oil and cocoa butter, I meant, and shea butter. So I'll get that done, get it melted, and we'll come back. Here I just moved up to a larger container. So I've got now all my oils melted, my butter's melted in here. And the next step is to uh, get my uh, beeswax in here and get that melted as well. So I got all of my, uh, my beeswax melted and now I'm adding in my fragrance, my glycerin, and my vitamin E here in just a moment. Now, the essential oils that I'm adding are about 20 drops of peppermint, 10 drops of eucalyptus, and 10 drops of patchouli. I'll try to make sure to put the recipe here in on the screen for you as well so that it's something you can replicate. But again, make this to your own liking. This is what I have found I like. Now, I like mine to spread easy and yet stay on my skin. That's the whole purpose. And so the glycerin that I'm adding here, that's, the, that's actually the vitamin E in witch hazel. Um, I've already added the vitamin E in. Uh, my point is that you want to make sure to use things that are good for your skin. The glycerin is fantastic uh, as a humectant to attract moisture to your skin. The vitamin E, of course, well, you know what that does. It also works along partially as uh, helping to preserve this. It's not a preservative on, on its own, but it does do a good job of keeping oil from going rancid. There's also a tablespoon of honey in here, which also works as an antibacterial. 
So the next step is going to be to refrigerate this for a bit, and then I'm gonna come back and beat it up. <laughs> so I'll see you back in a moment. So it has been cooled for about 45, 30 to 45 minutes and has started to thicken up. And I didn't put it in the fridge after all, I just put it in a bowl of cold water because I didn't want it to thicken up too much because this is a, ended up being a bigger batch than I'd first planned, but that's okay. I decided I just wanted to go ahead and use the rest of those uh, infused oils. I didn't want to try to save any because I want to start a new batch. So this is a much bigger batch than normal. But that's okay. I'm hoping to share these with some of you. All right, so you can see it's thickening up there. You'll see it on the sides. It's starting to congeal. So now it's time to get it in the jars. One of my favorite parts. So first I'm filling up some of these little four ounce jars. They're the same jars that I used for my calendula and chamomile uh, calming butter balm. <laughs> this, is, this one I do call a butter because of the shea butter and the cocoa butter. And uh, it's just very luxurious. I really love this. And right after you shave, boy does this feel great. Now. I don't know um, how it feels on legs. I've never shaved my legs. Um, but, but for anyone that does, I imagine this feels like it does going on my face, calming with a little bit of cooling from the peppermint, and a little bit of eucalyptus, and the patchouli just at, this is all very light scenting. When you realize how much this made here, those few drops kind of dissipate substantially. And I got quite a bit out of this, so I was really happy. So on top of this, I just dropped a couple of rosemary leaves, just a little something extra. And I'm showing you here is a jar that I had for a couple months here that I use. Um, and I use this every time I shave and it really does make a difference. And I'm just showing how I use a spatula. That's just a stick that I had here, but um, this is the consistency of it. It dissolves on your skin. The glycerin leaves, a not, leaves, leaves behind a nice humectant, uh, and the wax helps to put a nice coating to keep you from losing moisture as well. So here, I'm just rubbing it in my arms since I had it here, but it's terrific. Thank you all so much. Have a fantastic day. If you didn't, give me a thumbs up. I hope that you do. Leave me a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a terrific day. Goodbye.